This video is for 7.2 day 2. We're going to continue to learn how to multiply powers with the same base, specifically powers and exponents that deal with fractions today. So exponents can be also expressed as fractions, and fractional exponents are called rational exponents because remember a ratio is the comparison or fraction of two numbers. So recall from the past, 3 squared just means 3 times 3. That 2 tells us how many times we are multiplying the 3 by itself, and we get 9. Now, today we're going to be using rational exponents, and we're actually going to come at the problem from the opposite direction. 9 to the 1 half equals 3 because 3 times 3 is 9. So when we say 9 to the 1 half, what we're trying to figure out is what squared give us, gives us 9, and that is 3. Another way to think about when you raise it to the 1 half, you're taking the square root. Let's start off with example 4, 81 to the 1 fourth power. What we're trying to figure out is what to the 4th power equals 81. And the number that works for this situation is 3, because 3 times itself, times itself, times itself, equals 3 to the 4th, which equals 81. So whenever you're raising a number to a fraction or rational exponent, your answer is going to be smaller. A couple other examples that you might be curious in seeing how they work. 64 to the 1 half. Um, that equals 8 because 8 to the second equals 64. One more example, 27 to the 1 third is equal to 3 because 3 to the third equals 27. So basically what you're doing is you're looking at the denominator of that fraction and you're thinking to yourself, how many times do I have to raise or actually, how, what number do I have to raise to the third power to equal 27? And that is 3. Now, in the ones that we just talked about, all those fractions had a numerator of 1. Now we're going to look at some fraction exponents that have numerators other than 1. And the way that we're going to simplify them is we're going to write 9 to the 3 halves equals 9 to the 1 half times 9 to the 1 half times 9 to the 1 half. As you can see, there are three of those. That number is exactly related to that 3 in the top. And we just talked about 9 to the 1 half equals 3 because 3 squared equals 9. So now we can replace each of these by 3, and that gives us 27. Let's take a look at Example 5, this deals with 64 to the 3 halves. We're going to rewrite that as 64 to the 1 half times itself and times itself again. Remember, the number of 64s is related to the numerator of the fractional exponent. And we should know, actually we talked about this in one of my extra examples just on the last slide, 64 to the 1 half equals 8 because 8 squared equals 64. So that means we can just replace um, all of these by 8. And that gives us 512. A couple other little examples that I'd like to show you briefly uh, because the more practice you get, the easier these will be. 27 to the 2 thirds you can write that as 27 to the 1 third times itself. There's only two of them because of that numerator in the exponent. And 27 to the 1 third, we talked about this on the last slide, is 3. So you just replace it and you get 9. One other short example, 16 to the 3 fourths. You can rewrite that as 16 to the 1 fourth times itself. And that's great. Let's go back. 64 to the 1 fourth, 16, I mean 16 to the 1 fourth. And 
the fourth root or 16 to the 1 fourth is 2 because 2 to the fourth equals 16. So that means we have 2 times 2 times 2 and that equals 8. Okay, so far in day two portion of this section, we have been dealing with numbers only. Here comes the variables. These rules are the same as just with the numbers that we were working with. So let's read this together. To multiply powers with the same base, add the exponents. Well, that's what we talked about in day one, add the exponents. Um, so let's just jump into example six. We have 2a to the 2 thirds times 3b to the 1 fourth times a to the 1 third times 5b to the 1 half. That is definitely a mouthful. Okay, first thing, don't freak out. Don't get overwhelmed. I know it looks weird, but this is what I recommend you do. Just sort through and combine like terms. Put everything next to each other that's um, like terms. So we're going to take the 2, the 3, and the 5 and put them next to each other. 2 times 3 times 5. Now let's put the a's together. a to the 2 thirds times a to the 1 third. And then the b's together. b to the 1 fourth times b to the 1 half. Okay. Very good. We might as well multiply 2 times 3, which is 6, times 5 is 30. So bring down the 30. Uh, remember, when you are going to multiply powers with the exact same base, you're going to add the exponents. So what we can do is have a to the 2 thirds plus 1 third. Add the exponents. And also, for the b, we're going to have b to the 1 fourth plus 1 half. Now take note that the exponents of the a are having the same denominator, which is awesome. Whereas the b does not have the same denominator, but obviously we can make them the same denominator. So let's do that now. 30 a 2 thirds plus 1 third. You can go ahead and combine those if you know what to do. And b to the 1 fourth plus 2 fourths. I hope you agree that 2 fourths is equal to 1 half. Now let's keep going. The new exponent is going to be 3 over 3 for the a. And for the b, we're going to have 3 fourths. We're adding. Now there's one final thing. That one, 3 over 3 right there is just 1. So that means we're going to have 30 a to the first, b to the three-fourths, and lastly, yes, you don't need to write the one, so 30 a, b to the three-fourths. And that is the simplified version of the original expression. So feel free to pause here if you need to catch up, or rewind if you need to hear it again. We are going to be practicing um, these most definitely tomorrow, because I know this can be tricky. And with that, that is the end of this lesson. So please try the lesson check and make sure you did the day one lesson check and we will go through this together tomorrow. Have a nice night.